going to be teaching you about one of my favorite subjects, understanding the rules and techniques of composition. I definitely think this is one of the most important parts of photography. I personally try to nail a composition in camera when I'm out shooting the field um, so that there's less work for me to do in post. You know, I know that I can always rotate the photo in post, but then that just means you have to crop in more and you're just losing more, um, more framing that you had um, originally. So if you can, just try to nail the composition in camera. So um, with that being said, if there are straight lines in my shot, I really try to make sure everything's straight. So I like to use like a leveler. Um, you can look for this setting in the, in the menu of your camera. This really helps a lot. And also if you have a subject in your shot and you're trying to make sure that they're centered, make sure you're using your grid lines. Um, even if, you know, maybe to your average person who's not technical or not into photography, they may think like, oh, the subject looks pretty close to centered. But, you know, I think a lot of us as photographers are really detail oriented. And when we see that something is slightly off centered when it's supposed to be centered, it can be really, really distracting. So just try to make sure you guys are paying attention to those little details like that. So you want to keep in mind that this is a technique that you want to use to help place your subject um, in one of the lines of the third so you have a more well-balanced photo. So when you're shooting, it's really helpful to have grid lines on your camera. So I would definitely recommend going to your menu, your settings to turn on the grid lines. Um, a lot of times when you're shooting naturally, you won't even have to think about it. And I think that some of the best shots use roll thirds. Um, sometimes people think, you know, you have to place your subject in the, in the center, but oftentimes I think placing your subject in the third of a photo can actually be more powerful than placing them in the center. Well-balanced photo to me has a foreground, midground, and background. And when you have a picture with all three of these elements, it's a slam dunk. Um, I took this in Norway. This use of layers here, you have like foreground, so you have like this grassy area that I have um, out of focus. So I use depth of field here. And then I have my subject, um, the midground in focus where a pulpit rock is and my subject. And the subject is also in the negative space, which you'll notice. Um, and you also notice that the subject is in the dead center of the photo. So this is a good example of multiple techniques of composition um, being used to compose the shot, but layers especially, foreground, midground, and background. I'm constantly looking for negative space when I'm, um, when I'm shooting. Um, I'm looking for the space around my subject. And what is this space exactly? Um, it's basically an empty area in your composition that you're looking for to place your subject. Um, because it adds contrast between your subject and also the background. So adding a subject to your composition, as you can tell, I love adding subjects to my shots. I think it really tells a much more powerful story. And so when you're out in the field, try to look for this negative space um, so you can place your subject here.